I want you, first of all, I want you to know that this story is the truth. If I had to die, this, this story is the truth. We just got re through recording this record in one week. We went up and, and cut the music tracks. And then the next week, we went up to do the soundtracks. And we got in the studio about an hour early. We always do. And we were really surprised that a group of musicians were getting their instruments out. Well, we knew we had, to, we had to lay down voices in an hour, and we didn't understand that. Our producer was a fellow in Nashville called Bobby All. So we went into Bobby All, and I said, what's happening, man? We're supposed to be cutting here in an hour. He said, hey, don't worry about this group. Don't worry about this group. He said, we'll be out of here in 20 minutes. I said, are they going to cut? He said, yeah, we're going to cut a record. He said, of two sides, we're going to cut a single. I said, we'll be out of here in 20 minutes. Don't worry about it. Well, I was worried about it. You don't cut a record in 20 minutes. Then, then I got to remember it when me and the girls started. And all at once, I relived it again. This old boy come walking in while we were sitting there talking. He had on a, a green coat and orange pants and cowboy boots. <laughs> mm. And I'm telling you, that skeister was strutting his stuff. He walked in that studio, you'd have thought he owned it. And he said, Leroy hired, stuck his hand out. Bobby shook hands with him. He said, you must all. He said, yeah, he said, I'm here to cut. So Bobby said, great. He said, we're gonna, we're gonna cut us a single, huh? He said, yep. Said, uh, said, can I give you a little bit of idea what I want on this label? And, and Bobby said, that'll be fine. He said, now, what do you think if I call myself Leroy Spiritual Man Hard <laughs> on this record. Bobby said, I think it'd be great. So as a matter of fact, I can't, can't think anybody's got that name. So <laughs> probably going to be all right. He said, all right. He said, something else won't on there. He said, now, he said, my mama and my wife is my backup ground singers and said, said, I want to get their name on that label. He said, yep, no problem there. We'll get, we'll get them right on there. He said, in, in my band that I got with me, said, now every one of these boys had to get off from work. <laughs> he said, and the only thing they're going to get out of this is a name on there, and I want you to get their name on there. He said, we'll get them on. We'll get them on. He said, but the most important thing of all is I want a picture of my daddy on there. <laughs> He said, this record, he said, this record going to be dedicated to my daddy. And, and, and so old Bobby said, hey, man, said the, said the label on a single is about the size of a half a dollar. He said, he said, will your daddy be offended if we don't get his picture on there? He said, well, my daddy's dead. He said, Mama will. <laughs> he said, why don't we just put his name on there? He said, okay, that'll be all right. He said, and old Bobby, old Bobby had his chart down there. And, and I promise you, this is the same way we started. It's the same way everybody started. You try to go in there acting like you know something. First thing this boy said to old Bobby was, I don't believe they want no new talent over in country music. <laughs> See, he'd been trying that forever. Now he's all the way to sacred. He even said, he even said, Mama said, what we ought to do is just do, just do some sacred singing. And said, uh, said, now me and my wife don't claim nothing. But said, Mama's been to church a bunch of times. She knows all about it. <laughs> Mama said, I think that's great. He said, he said, what, what, what are we going to put on here? What's the name of the song? He had his chart down there. Old Leroy, Leroy said, just a closer walk with thee. <laughs> he said, on the other side, we got a homemade song my mama wrote. <laughs> Bobby said, all right. What's the name of that? He said, Amazing Ruth.
He said, my mama read about somebody in the Bible named Ruth. He said, we didn't know whether to call it amazing Ruth or Grace ain't the only one amazing. <laughs> old, Bobby, old Bobby said, well, get on in there. He said, we got to cut this thing quick. He said, this bunch right here is, uh, is waiting to, to record. He said, said, get them on in there. Oh. Old Leroy went in there. He sat down on that stool and pulled his mic up. Buddy, you'd have thought that cat with them lizard, lizard skin boots on on the place, like I said. He sat down there. He got that guitar up, whirled around one of his boys and said, Ring me out of A. <laughs> he nearly got that guitar in tune, and he is ready to go. Well, they, they lit out to sing and just a closer walk with him. I'm going to tell you something. That man's wife had head tones that sounded like the horn on a 54 Buick. I never heard anything like it in my life. Well, they started singing just a closer walk with him. And I mean, there's rocking on that thing. They went, they started the beginning and they quit at the end. And old Leroy, spiritual man, hard, stood up, <laughs> stretched, made a couple little signs there and looked, in the, looked in, the, in the booth. And Bobby said, all right, Leroy. He said, you won't do it again? Leroy said, why? <laughs> and then I knew what he meant by 20 minutes. Now, 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 this is a fact what I'm telling you with my hand up if I had to die. This happened. They played that thing back. Everything's going fine. And all at once, me and old, me and old Bobby all was over there talking. We wasn't paying a lot of attention to what was going on. And, uh, and in a minute, we saw the engineer at the board. He just kept turning knobs there and checking this out. And he'd turn it back and check that out. And check that out, check that out. Frown. Bobby walked over there, said, what, what's the matter? He said, I'm getting a noise. <laughs> he said, I don't know what it is. He said, Bobby said, play it back. So he played it back, and we all listened real close. And right in there, when they got to walk, on that, just close to walk with these, just clomp. Well, uh, <laughs> we heard something, it went. <laughs> and I couldn't imagine what it was. And he turned some more knobs, he turned everything off, but one thing at a time, he couldn't figure, he, he looked up at Bobby and he said, I don't believe it's my machine. So, so he called spiritual man in there. He said, Leroy, I want you to listen real close to this song. We got a noise on the tape and we can't figure out what it is. And old Leroy, he listened and they played in there about halfway through that song. Old Leroy said, oh, I know what it is. Mama's teeth is letting go. <laughs> Old Bobby said, I don't, I don't believe you're going to leave it. You're going to leave that on there. He said, he said what, about, what about if we just cut it over? Old Leroy said, oh, yeah, that'll be fine. Old Leroy opened the door in there and said, Mama, you're going to have to finger your uppers. <laughs> said, we're going to have to cut her again. And there she went, just to go for walk with him. Just to walk. <laughs> That's a fact with my hand up if I had to die. 